Hello, my name is Caetano Pessoa. I'm the Product Marketing Manager at Tomia. I'd like to welcome today Bakisu Kupe from Mascom Botswana, with whom we have a long relationship. Hello, Bakisu, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Mbakisu Kupe. I'm the International Roaming Manager at Mascom Botswana. Thank you for being here with us. So let's start off. So I would like to ask you, what is the impact of the US 2G, 3G network shutdowns on your roaming business? Uh, Kaitano, the, the, the impact of the 2G shutdowns on our business has been quite uh, significant in the sense that uh, 10, top 10 uh, roaming travelers are mostly from, from Botswana, are mostly to go into to the US. Now, what we've experienced is that the, our clients, when they get over and they get to the US, they find that they cannot roam on some of the networks. Now, we have to find uh, alternative uh, ways of communicating with those few customers that are not able to communicate. Yeah, indeed. And the fact that the US is one of the most popular destinations uh, for you, it's also driving a lot of changes for everybody. The fact that they are shutting down the 2D, 2G, 3G. One of the yeah. thing is they are, it is accelerating the both the roaming agreements. So please tell us, what are Mascom's ambitions for both the roaming? Obviously, Mascom is quite uh, impacted by the 2G, 3G shutdown. Now, what we have uh, decided to do is also go with the, try to launch Volta roaming in areas whereby we are impacted by the changes. Uh, the US specifically would be a starting point for us to start uh, the, the rollout. We would not like to have our customers not being able to, to roam in those particular countries. So that's why we've decided to go with Volta roaming as well in those areas where there is shutdowns. But where there is still 2G, 3G networks, uh, we at least we, we, we still have an options, but where there are no options at all, what is the only way? Yeah, indeed. And it's very important to have these decisions and making sure that the subscriber will always use the best network possible, because this will also improve his quality, his or her uh, traveling experience. So please let us know, in terms of quality of service, how does quality of service influence your roaming decisions? Thank you for that. You know, with quality of service as Mascom, we are trying our best to give the best customer experience. And this includes having the best options when it comes to roaming. If we, there's potential of having LTE, the customer should have LTE. So that is why we are striving to, to roll out uh, LTE launches as, as far, uh, as many as possible across the globe. Yeah, indeed. And, and I think in the future, quality of service will be uh, much more impactful. The fact that operators will be able to control quality of, quality of service will drive a lot of changes in the roaming business. But please, please share a little bit based on your experience and all the things that you see happening in Africa. What is the future in roaming in the region? How things are changing and unfolding in the future? Definitely. In terms of uh, roaming in Africa, we, I would say we are a bit behind more than our, our European and American uh, counterparts. In, in, the, in the light that uh, a lot of us don't have LTE roaming in Africa, and then this now impacts on the, 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 the uh, travelers being able to connect out there. Now, the, this is, is, is quite a, a challenge for, for, for African partners in that, but we, 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 we're looking at it from a, a strategic point of view in that we have uh, an alliance, what we call the African Roaming Alliance, that we are trying to count interact such activities and sort of work together in in building relations to to, to counteract the, the 3G 3G close downs uh, globally. Now, uh, as as Botswana, we are fortunate enough to be uh, able to have LTE and Forte, and that then has, uh, allows us to be able to connect to to the the partners that are shutting down with Forte. So, uh, but in terms of the other partners in Africa, they are a bit behind us. Some have not even launched LTE nationally, and they yet they expected to roam globally on Volte now. Well, that's really exciting. Uh, how the future will look like for you and for the region? Thank you very much for being here. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much, Gaetan.